What's happening now across the Niagara frontier? News stories, old stories, stuff you know about and stuff you'd never believe. It's the Niagara Hub Soapbox with Craig Avery. All right, welcome. Um, we've got a, uh, a new year here. Well, Happy New Year. We have Happy Anthony year. Villardo, who is the Niagara Falls City uh, Director of Business Development. Well, and uh, it's a big... Uh, thanks for having me, Mr. Avery. And, and we're glad you're here. I understand you had to shovel your snow today. I did have to shovel the snow this morning. You know, not something that... We got a little spoiled in December with the mild start to winter, but uh, it's, uh, it's an honor and privilege to be here today with you. Well, thanks cool, for having me. Cool. Glad to have it. Well, now that uh, now that January has come, elections are passed, it's a, it's a let's get some business done kind of a, a attitude, I hope, out of City Hall and, and with your department. And uh, Absolutely. Tell us um, what's happening in town. So, you know, I am the City's Director of Business Development, and additionally, I serve as the Executive Director for the NFC Development Corporation, which is the City's banking arm and the City's Urban Renewal Agency. Um, so, you know, as we move into the new year, we are committed to finding new businesses who are interested in opening up shop in Niagara Falls, relocating to Niagara Falls. In addition, our board uh, has given me you know, a strong uh, declaration that they would like to see us make sure we're working with businesses that are already here, you know, making sure that they know we are here to help them and be a conduit to make sure that they are successful in Niagara Falls. Um, you know, NFC has a long history in the city. In the last five years, so from two or six years, so from 2010, to 2000 through the end of 2015, the NFC Development Corp has administered 52 separate grants and loans, um, which is a $1.8 million of public assistance, but that leveraged $31 million of private sector investment within our city and created about 250 jobs and retained close to 100. So we've been active in the city, but we wanna remind folks that we are here to help folks help small businesses in Niagara Falls grow, expand, open. You know, we're here from start to finish. You come in with a solid business plan. We'll work with you to find, you know, fill in any gaps that, you know, you might need to make sure that you can be successful in Niagara Falls. I think the words help and, and gap are, are important. I think there's a misnomer, especially in my situation where we've been uh, able to uh, take advantage of some opportunities through your group with some grants and so forth. But it takes a commitment uh, on the owner's part. It takes an investment. Um, many times if I look at uh, investing in Amherst versus here, well, I could go in Amherst and get a lot more in rent for a building, so why don't I just start there? To encourage people here, if, if I can't command as, as high of an income on, on property, uh, if I'm leasing to a restaurant or, or even in, in residential apartments, um, Somewhere there is a gap there, you know, it's going to cost me X dollars and, it's, and I'm only going to get Y dollars. So, right. so why? You know, why, why, how can I do this? And that's where I, I, I know your programs help. I, I feel bad for people that, that have the idea that, well, the city will just give me money to do this. Well, that, that isn't. No, you know, that's absolutely not correct. You know, we're not here as a blank check. Um, you know, typically the process would work, we would meet with someone, whether an existing business or someone looking to open a business or relocate a business here, you know, and work with them. Say, okay, you know, do you have a business plan? Do you have your pro forma? You know, what are your current situation? Do you have experience? You know, we look at resumes, we do credit reports. We look at soup to nuts to make sure that, you know, this is a viable business opportunity for the city. You know, what we have to lend or to grant is taxpayer money. You know, we have a fiduciary responsibility to the citizens of the city of Niagara Falls to make sure we are good stewards of public dollars and making sure that we're investing it properly to get the most bang for our buck. And I think that, you know, as I mentioned, our track record from 2010 through 2015 has been successful on that and we continue to do so. But as folks, you know, are interested in coming to Niagara Falls or expanding and growing, we need to make sure that, you know, we want to give them every opportunity possible to be successful. Right. You know, the worst possible situation is someone comes in with a without a plan, invests their own you know hard-earned dollars into a business, and it fails because they the proper legwork wasn't done beforehand. So you know we're here to help. You know we have partners with uh, Niagara County Small uh, Business Development Center and NCCC, which can help assist you know novice business people on how to you know formulate a business plan, develop a pro forma. You know, and we'll work with them. And you know, if someone comes in with an application, we're going to sit there and we're going to scrutinize it. We have a finance committee through the NFC Corporation made up of four current or retired bankers, all with experience in Niagara Falls, and they're able to say, okay, 
you know, well, these numbers just don't seem to add up, or you know, they you know they look really good, and let's proceed on to you know, getting more right. specific on you know what we should be doing here to assist them. You know, here is the actual gap that they need help with to making sure they can open their doors or expand you know their, their business. Mm -hmm. The other group of people are the people that don't need help. The experienced people, the, the big business people that are that are looking for good opportunities to start up in a in a and in a sense, a, a fresh canvas in Niagara Falls. This is a great place. This is a world-known address, and some of these bigger operations need to know that you're there also. You're not going to, they don't need to talk to NCCC's business exactly. communicators to write their resume. They they need uh, some gap money mm -hmm. to, to make it work and to make their, their formulas uh, fit in. And that's something that, you know, we have done. Um, you know, I started at the end of June of this past year, and one of the things that I went out immediately and did was sat down and identified about 75 businesses in Western New York, um, not to relocate. We, the last thing I don't want to be seen as poaching, you know, right. a business from someone else, but say, okay, you know, Expanded. you've had a very successful business somewhere, whether it be in, down in the village of Lewiston or in the city of Buffalo or in Amherst, Clarence area, and said, you know what, give us another look. You know, maybe you had a misnomer that, you know, it wasn't easy to do business in Niagara Falls and nothing could be further from the truth. You know, we're here to help you. And we had some positive communications with those folks and we continue to cultivate some of those relationships, try to get them interested in looking whether what's best for their business, whether it's downtown Niagara Falls or Pine Avenue, Niagara Street, Buffalo Avenue, Niagara Falls Boulevard, you know, we'll work with them to help them find the best place um, so they can be successful. Because in the end, what's good for the private sector is going to be good for the city of Niagara Falls. So we right. need to make sure that you know, we're making the right marriage between a private sector entity and uh, the city. And I think some of the businesses that are in, in place are also great resources for these new newcomers to, to share that. If, you know, many people have come to me and said, who do you know that could help me get to this Anthony Villardo guy? <laughs> well, uh, we've, we've been uh, successful together doing things. Absolutely. You certainly would like to, to hear my opinion maybe on, on somebody new. Maybe that'll help me get them to the next stage of recognition to you if I say, wow, I know this guy and he's been able to do this, this, and this, or we like his plan. So I know you count a lot of times on the existing businesses and, and, and work with them on, on, on helping you know, be their neighbors. Absolutely. You know, and I think it's important you know, to go out and meet <clears throat> with the small business community that we already have existing in the city. You know, Every month I attend the downtown Niagara Falls Business Association meetings. I've you know met with the Niagara Street Business Association, the Main Street Business Association. You know, unfortunately, Pine Avenue doesn't have this association, but you know we've made inroads there and you know gone and met with individual small businesses, or met with you know kind of the remnants of that group to let them know we're here. You know, we want to be as helpful as we possibly can to make sure that every business in the city of Niagara Falls is successful as they possibly can be. Right. And that's you know, the opinion of the private sector is paramount to understanding how can we be of help. You, know, you can sit in an office all day and come up with these great plans, but if the private sector doesn't buy into it, then all you've done is just sit there at your computer and type away for you know eight hours a day, sure. and that's not doing sure. a whole lot of good. So sure. it's making sure you have the right partners on the private sector who can help drive the economy in the city of Niagara Falls. Some nice new larger projects, the Wingate, the Fairfield. The Wingate, you know, as you know, it was. Uh, Cut the ribbon last year. We're looking forward to the Fairfield on Rainbow Boulevard opening this year. Um, the courtyard by Marriott going into the former More Business Forms uh, building, which is a special place in my heart. My grandfather worked there for 45 years, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm excited to see that uh, you know that business be redeveloped into something. And there's a number of other projects. Um, you know, Wonder Falls is still churning along. There's a lot of, you know, a project that size has a lot that goes into making sure it develops. But, you know, right now they're doing their engineering work and their architectural work kind of behind the scenes uh, as that goes. And then there's a number of other projects that, you know, are not ready for public consumption yet, but, you know, we're working diligently at, you know, getting them from, you know, conception to market and making sure that, you know, they're ready to, you know, be here on both, not just, you know, I don't want people to think that we're just working on downtown Niagara Falls. Um, we have a number of industrial projects that we are currently working on, you know, behind the scenes to locate sites, you know, work with, you know, our partners in Empire State Development to make sure that, you know, we can bring our jobs, you know, more jobs to Niagara Falls. And one of the things that, you know, kind of got us to where we are today was a lack of a diversification of our economy. You know, 
for a hundred years, we were just an industrial city that happened to be next to some water falling over rocks. You know, we never tapped into our real potential as a tourism destination. And with deindustrialization, the bottom fell out of our industrial base, and here we are today. And it's only been the last 10 years or so that we've said, you know what, tourism can be a viable economy. But in order for it to be a viable economy and for the city to be viable, we need to make sure that we're diversified. We need to make sure that we have a growing industrial sector, you know, capitalizing on emerging technologies, green technologies. Um, we saw, you know, Green Pack open its doors to almost a half a billion dollar new facility and working with partners who can work with them. So you start to see a clustered economy around green industry. You have somebody who says, you know what, Niagara Falls is a good place to invest. You know, they were willing to invest $480 million in our city. How can we work with other industrial partners to make sure that they can capitalize off of an investment that Green Pack has already made here? Cool. Um, what do you hope to have accomplished by the end of 2016? It's a great question. So, uh, the end of you know 2016. Right now, um, you know we're working with a couple of small businesses. Um, like to see Third Street get further activated. You know, there's an article in the paper today by Michelle DeLuca that talked about the Third Street Retreat, the Cataract City uh, Coffee and Eatery. Those are two. Those are that's a good example of two businesses that came through the NFC Development Corporation. We are assisting them. Um, I was just down with Emory Weber on Monday checking out the progress on their uh, their place in the Jefferson Apartments, the old Murphy's. It's going to be the Third Street Retreat. Very excited about that project. Um, it would be a great place to watch a game, have a drink, have breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, he's going to really do a nice job. It's nice to see someone like that who's young, mm -hmm. you know, has experience in Niagara Falls and wanting to invest his time, his talent, his energy here in the city. And on the 400 block of 3rd Street, you see uh, Cataract City Eatery, uh, Joel Hotchkiss, Michael Lewis. They've done great work on that facade. If you've driven down 3rd Street, you've seen the windows cut out onto uh, mm -hmm. the city parking lot there. The awnings are up, and they'll start you know, work on the inside of that building very soon. They want to be open by Memorial Day, which is you know, perfect for us because that's when you know, we start to see, you know, depending on what number you want to use, you know, excess mm -hmm. of 2 to 8 million you know, visitors coming through our city. Um, and further down, you have... Uh, at 539 Main Street, um, Mike Capizzi's group, Cataract City Development, they're looking to you know find tenants for there, working with right. your company to try to find tenants for your space, and uh, you know so that's good on Third Street, and then like I said on the industrial side, you know really making sure that we have uh, we want a uh, consolidated funding application through the state, which is the state's um, grant program. Uh, it got, all got consolidated under Governor Cuomo four years ago into the CFA process where anyone hoping to you know get a grant or loan through the state goes through this process and the city was fortunate enough we won four grants uh, this year one of which was a $500,000 grant to redevelop the old uh, Unicarb facility at 3625 Highland Avenue mm -hmm. so looking forward to working on that uh, working on developing a manageable um, small business district program um, we're with one of the small business districts here in town uh, that we'll, we'll hope to roll out soon. We're also writing a uh, request for proposal for uh, some development in the 7th and Niagara Street area. The city has acquired through uh, tax foreclosure three historic buildings. They qualify for state and national historic tax credits. Um, right across the street from the Seneca Niagara Casino, and we view that as an opportunity to take a look at those buildings individually, but also the neighborhood as a whole. Yeah. Um, you know, some downtown uh, development, but continue our work also, you know, in LaSalle, on Niagara Street, on Pine Avenue. Great. Well, I'm uh, as a selfless plug here, <laughs> you know, we have vacant space on Third Street waiting for someone with a restaurant idea. A manicure shop, a uh, whatever. I'm not going to cook. I'm not going to do your nails, but I'm just going to hand you the key. And we hope that somebody has some some a, a good business plan and a good opportunity that can work with with you guys and and make it happen and fill those empty spaces. And that you know that's important to us. And you know, with the you know as you said, the right partner. That's something we would be interested in taking a look at. You know, from a city perspective, right? And do what we can right. to make sure that they would be successful in that space. All right, come back more often. Let's get updates, and maybe the next time we got to say, since we last talked, this happened. That'd be great. I'd, you can't uh, come back and tell that. Happened. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Everybody.